This is Twit. All right. So I am recommending an app that, as <laughs> as Leo pointed out, recently got Sherlocked. At WWDC. Uh, and the sad thing is Casey had just released the app. Yeah, it's Vignette. Um, and, you know, it... it got Sherlocked, but it didn't get Sherlocked. I, it's, so the app basically goes through your entire contact list and it finds, well, not, e not even just the, the contacts that don't have photos, but the contacts that do have photos if you so choose. And it will look at <coughs> the social profiles that you have linked in your contacts and the email, and it will search all these different sites, Gravatar, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc., and then use those to give you a photo for your contacts. So if you have been kind of annoyed by when you're texting someone and you just see the two initials for their name and you'd rather have a photo there, uh, this is a very easy way to do it. Like I said, it scans and you can sort of pick and choose which ones you want to change. I have it set up so that it only does ones that don't currently have a photo. And it's it's really handy. Uh, it's it's quite nice. And this is how it differs from what Apple has implemented. So Apple in iOS 13, you will be able to choose essentially a profile photo and a name and then choose to share that with other iOS folks. So the next time when, when someone updates to iOS 13 and you have a conversation with them, then it will give them the option to sort of populate your, you know, your name and your your chosen name and your chosen photo uh, in in their iMessage conversation back and forth. Uh, so this is a little bit different because if you've got friends who are Android users, ditch them. I mean, uh, uh, if you've got friends who are Android, I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. Android users, then you can get their photos. If you know someone doesn't know how to set up the profile photo via Apple, but they've done that on Twitter or Facebook, then you can have that and. Yeah, I, I think this it's is a so wonderful clever. feature that I've wanted for a long time. I and also I like happy it to see it. that if if you have somebody has many, many social profiles, uh, you can choose which one you want to use. So in this yes. case, Lane has a different picture <laughs> on Facebook. I, get, I think I like the picture I'm using yeah, for Lane. How about Tim Berners-Lee? Let's see. He's got this is the one in my contact list. But then there's one from Facebook. <laughs> There's the same one from. Oh, I like the gravatar. Oh, that gravatar Isn't that nice? Fun. I think I'm going to use the gravatar for Mister, the inventor of the uh, World Wide Web, whose phone number I actually don't have, but for some reason is in my contact list. Uh, here's another one where you get you get to choose. So there are a yeah. lot of people like me who have uh, many different thumbnails out there, and so this is a great way to figure out who you want. And then there's a very oh look, Renee. I can have either Renee's existing image or his gravatar. <laughs> I'm going to use the, the image fun things. from the Gravatar. Yeah. The people who have set up Gravatar sometimes forget about it. And I remembered someone tweeting about like, this app is fun or is good for what it does. But what's really fun is seeing people's old Gravatar images. Right, right. <laughs> now, it's uh, free to do what I just did. But mm -hmm. uh, Casey charges five bucks if you want to save uh, updates unlimited. And let's all pay five dollars to Casey yeah. this because yeah. this is a great app. It does do stuff that Apple's doesn't do uh poor casey released this literally 10 days before wwdc and got sherlocked it's i think the fastest sherlock in history yes <laughs> yes <laughs> so uh i'm gonna give i i'm gonna give him my actually i already gave him five bucks so i'm gonna restore purchases yeah. because Same. he totally deserves to get paid for this and, uh, yeah, and it's a great it's a little app. It's a handy app, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It does the thing that it says it's going to do, and I think it does it quite well. And one of the things that I've loved is that he's continued to update it, uh, even though like it just came out and I've already seen uh, updates for it. Nice. And yeah, I think very open to, to changes and things like that as well. So uh, check it out, Vignette, free with that $5 in-app purchase that I think everybody should throw his way. <laughs> just, just to say, we're sorry, Casey. We're sorry about the Sherlock. <laughs> We're yeah. sorry you got Sherlocked.